Hello friends, welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimpal Dalal, and today we will discuss about a skin problem commonly known as eczema and specifically atopic dermatitis, along with its effect to homeopathic treatment. Disclaimer: This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Atopic dermatitis is often called eczema or atopic eczema. Actually, eczema refers to a group of conditions that cause inflamed skin. Eczema is like an allergic reaction on your skin. Your skin swells up in response to an allergy trigger. A lot of people who have eczema also have allergies to pollen, mold, animal fur, dust or sensitivities to product they use around the house. It could be that the detergent you are using or the perfume you are wearing is leaving its mark on your skin. There are many types of eczema and atopic dermatitis is the most common type of eczema. Atopic refers to diseases caused by allergic response and dermatitis relates to condition of the skin. So what is an allergic response? An allergic response is a hypersensitive immune reaction to a substance that normally is harmless or would not cause an immune response in everyone. It occurs when the immune system overreacts to a harmless substance known as an allergen. Our immune system has an important job to defend our body from invaders such as harmful bacteria and viruses. But when it makes war on substances, it shouldn't. That's an allergy. Peanuts, eggs or pollen, for example, can trigger allergic response. Here the response triggered is called allergy and causing agent like pollen is called allergen. So there can be many allergic responses and atopic dermatitis or eczema is one of them. It might come as a surprise to you that although atopic dermatitis is an allergic reaction in the skin, however, it is not caused by allergies. Atopic dermatitis is commonly associated with other allergic disorders. Up to 60% of people with atopic dermatitis may have asthma or allergic rhinitis and up to 30% have food allergies. But we are still left with the question, what are the causes of atopic dermatitis? The exact cause of atopic dermatitis is not known. Healthy skin helps retain moisture and protects our body from bacteria, irritants and allergens. People with atopic dermatitis tend to have dry skin because of an altered skin barrier. So very broadly, one can infer that dry skin is associated with atopic dermatitis. Let us focus on what causes this unhealthy and dry skin. Research has shown that there is a gene variation that affects the skin's ability to retain moisture and provide protection from bacteria, irritants and allergens. Atopic dermatitis can affect anyone. But if you have a personal or family history of allergies, hay fever or asthma, you are more likely to develop atopic dermatitis and be more careful about the conditions that can trigger atopic dermatitis. So let us see what are the common triggers for atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis flare-ups can have various triggers but common lifestyle and environmental triggers include long hot showers or bath, scratching, sweat, heat, cold dry weather, soaps, detergents and cleaners, wool and synthetic fabrics, physical irritants like dirt, sand, smoke, allergens like pollens, dander, dust, contact with chemicals, perfumes or dyes, strenuous exercise, stress, and certain food allergies such as eggs, dairy products, wheat and nuts. Let us now move to the symptoms of atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis is often called the itch that rashes because it begins with the itchy skin. Scratching the itchy skin causes a rash to appear. 
this rash also tends to be very itchy atopic dermatitis can develop on any area of your skin at any age it most often begins before age 5 and may persist into adolescence and adulthood for some people it flares periodically and then clears up for a time even for several years however at certain ages it is more likely to appear on certain areas of your body and have a unique appearance here's what is most common during each stage of life we will organize our discussion across babies children and adults so first of all we'll see babies in babies the rash often develops on the scalp and face especially on the cheeks it makes the skin dry scaly and itchy it bubbles up and then oozes and whips fluid it causes itching that may come and go while babies often get atopic dermatitis on head it can appear on other areas of the body because atopic dermatitis is so itchy you may see an infant rubbing against bedding carpeting and other objects in order to scratch the itch a baby may have trouble sleeping develop skin infections commonly due to rubbing and act fuzzy as atopic dermatitis causes discomfort Now we will see the symptoms of atopic dermatitis in children. When atopic dermatitis begins between 2 to 18 years of age, a child often has these signs and symptoms. A rash that often begins in the creases of elbows or knees. Other common places for the rash to appear are the neck, wrist, ankles or creases between the buttocks and legs. each is scaly patches where the rash appeared in time the skin with atopic dermatitis get bumpy looking like permanent goosebumps the skin become lighten or darken where atopic dermatitis appears the skin gets thicken turning leathery to protect itself from frequent scratching there develops knots on the thickened skin and the thickened skin each all the time Skin with a rash becomes slightly swollen and discolored. In people who have white skin, the swollen skin tends to look red. People who have darker skin see a less noticeable color change, which ranges from a subtle gray to violet brown. Regardless of the skin color, the skin with a rash feels warmer than the surrounding skin. One may see patches of slightly raised dry and scaly atopic dermatitis. An atopic dermatitis rash can cause small itchy spots on the skin. Scratching can cause the spots to leak fluid and then crust over. People who have white skin tend to see reddish spots. If you have a darker skin, the spots tend to look gray to violet brown in color. Now we will see the symptoms of atopic dermatitis in adults. Some developed atopic dermatitis as a child and continue to have atopic dermatitis. It is also possible for atopic dermatitis to clear and return years later. While rarely atopic dermatitis can begin after 18 years of age. In adults, atopic dermatitis tends to cause fewer rashes. Adults tend to have extremely dry skin, patchy scaly skin. skin that is easily irritated hand eczema and eye problems like eczema on eyelids and cataracts if you have had atopic dermatitis for years patches of your skin may have permanently thickened and developed a leathery texture this is caused by years of scratching the affected skin tends to look darker or lighter than the surrounding skin the thickened skin cause each all the time adults unlike children often have atopic dermatitis around their eyes you will often see thickened darker skin circling the eyes the skin with atopic dermatitis tends to feel very itchy now we will discuss the complications of atopic dermatitis that is what can happen if atopic dermatitis is not managed timely and properly Flares caused by atopic dermatitis can sometimes cause or be linked to other health issues like chronic itchy scaly skin. 
अ स्किन कंडीशन कॉल्ड न्यूरोडर्मेटाइटिस और लाइकन सिंप्लेक्स क्रॉनिकस स्टार्ट विद अ पैच ऑफ ईची स्किन यू स्क्रैच द एरिया विच मेक्स इट इवन ईचियर इवेंचुअली यू मे स्क्रैच सिंपली आउट ऑफ हैबिट दिस कंडीशन कैन कॉज द अफेक्टेड स्किन टू बिकम डिसकलर्ड थिक एंड लेदरी Sometimes the skin opens and leaks fluids. Another complication is skin infections. Repeated scratching that breaks the skin can cause open sores and cracks. These increase the risk of infection from bacteria and viruses, including the herpes simplex virus. Another complication is hay fever and asthma. Eczema sometimes precedes these conditions. More than half of young children with atopic dermatitis develop asthma and hay fever by the age 30. Next complication is sleep problems. Intense itching is common in atopic dermatitis. Itching may start even before the rash appears. Itchiness is usually worse at night when one goes to bed. The itch scratch cycle can cause poor sleep quality that may have a negative impact on mood concentration and behavior. Another complication is feeling of anxiety, depression and isolation. The depression and anxiety are often due to itch, painful skin and problem sleeping. People living with atopic dermatitis also say that they feel self-conscious and sometimes ashamed when other people notice them having atopic dermatitis. Now let us see what one can do to prevent atopic dermatitis. It's not entirely clear why some people develop atopic dermatitis and there is currently no known way to prevent it from developing. But by learning your triggers and taking good care of your skin, you can reduce the frequency and severity of your atopic dermatitis flare-ups. So the first thing to do is to avoid triggers. figure out what causes your skin problems and try to avoid those triggers for example if certain soap or fabric seem to cause rashes stop using them try to avoid cigarette smoke animal dander and pollen if those seem to make your skin worse you have to be very observant another thing that you can do to prevent atopic dermatitis flare ups is to take good care of your skin it's key to keep your skin moisturized the best choices are thick creams or ointments that have little water put them on as soon as you get out of the shower or bath while your skin is still wet next thing you can do is to take shorter showers and baths limit your showers to 10 minutes and use warm water instead of hot use gentle soaps Use only mild soaps on your skin. Deodorants or antibacterial soaps have ingredients that can dry it out. Next, don't scratch your skin. Try putting pressure on itchy areas instead of scratching them and keep your nails trimmed. With children, you may want to have them wear gloves at night to keep them from scratching while they sleep. Wear loose clothing that won't bother your skin. Loose fitting clothes won't rub against your skin and they can help keep you from sweating. Let us now discuss some of the effective homeopathic remedies for atopic dermatitis. There are many remedies for atopic dermatitis in homeopathy but in this video we will discuss the five most commonly used remedies in atopic dermatitis. First is antim crude. There is dry skin. There is itching especially on the neck, chest, back and lips. Itching is due to the heat of the bed which then prevents sleep. There is thick hard scabs of a honey yellow in color. Here and there a crack oozing a green sinuous fluid and burning as if immersed in hot embers. There is eczema with gastric derangements. Patient is sensitive to cold bathing. Complaints are aggravated by heat of bed and cold bathing. They are worse at night and by touch. complaints are better in open air and moist warmth second remedy is graphitis it is a great remedy for all sort of skin eruptions the skin is rough and hard with persistent dryness of portions of skin there is obstinate dryness of the skin and absence of perspiration there is itching of the skin over the body followed by burning and oozing itching in the evening and night 
there is rawness in bends of the limbs groins neck and behind ears skin is unhealthy every little injury suppurates oozing out a thick honey like sticky exudation skin affections are aggravated at night by warmth of bed during change of weather and are ameliorated from open air wrapping up and in darkness third remedy is mizerium it is an excellent remedy for skin affections eczema with intolerable itching followed by copious serous exudations oozing out red rash with violent itching followed by burning and change of place after scratching sometimes there is swelling of the part that has been scratched the common site affected is scalp the head is covered with thick leather like crust complaints are worse at night in bed from touch and in cold air and complaints are better in open air fourth remedy is petroleum eczema specifically of scalp and occiput the skin is dry rough ragged constricted and cracked there are cracks and fissures all over the body or in affected area there is violent itching followed by burning patient cannot rest until he scratches the skin off and the parts become moist bloody raw and inflamed slightest scratch makes skin suppurate there is oozing of thin and watery fluid with thick greenish crust formation affected skin becomes leathery complaints are worse in dampness before and during a thunderstorm and in winter while they are better in summer from warm air and dry weather and finally the fifth remedy that is sulfur sulfur is indicated in all sort of skin eruptions skin is dry scaly and unhealthy there is dirty filthy look of the skin with filthy odor there is severe itching patient goes on scratching patient feels good to scratch but scratching is followed by severe burning bleeding rawness and soreness of the parts every little injury suppurates there is aggravation by warmth of bed washing covering and at night complaints are ameliorated in open air and by putting the fit out of bed so this is our short presentation on atopic dermatitis if you have found value in this video please don't forget to like and share it with others if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so now please provide your valuable feedback thanks for watching bye